You Jews, he said on the uh, Ariel interview. Dude, Paulo Costa is so funny. Imagine if he could speak English. I don't even think it would be as funny if he could speak English, though. But if he could articulate himself a little bit better, he's just going to get funnier. You know what I mean? Thank you very much for the $5 CM. I appreciate you. Hey, Mason, my name's not Mason. I asked MMA Joey and Jesse on fire if they would beat you up in BJJ today. Both said, nah, they know you're a beast, of course. Thank you for the $5, dude. Impression of Sniff losing his dog. Don't bring the fucking dog out of me. Don't bring the fucking dog out of me. You're bringing the fucking dog out of me. I told you not to. Why the fuck are you bringing the fucking dog out of me? Don't bring the hot dogs out of me. Thank you for the $2 MMA, Joey. Um, Darren still bumps into Cody on accident impression. Oh, fucking hell, mates. Oh, I've... Mate, wake up. Wait, what's happened, mate? Why are you on the floor? Oh, cold, lad. I just bumped into you, mate. Are you all right? Cody, wake up. He put him out cold. Um, Top three most annoying fighters in the UFC. Top three most annoying fighters in the UFC. I don't know, dude. I thought Aljo. Uh, not Aljo. Um... Israel Adesanya is annoying as fuck because he's boring as fuck. Um, we'll just put him in there. And it'll, Marab, Marab de Velashvili is one of them, most definitely. And then we'll chuck in a dosage of... This one's not that annoying. Esparza ruining everything. Fucker. Belal, yeah, I don't know. Molly. Molly is annoying, to be fair. Yeah, it's very annoying. Fucking Marab! I just thought of Aljo just taking the criminals back and threatening them with submissions until the police came. Yeah. And they're just fighting Aljo off two on one. Wrist control. Thoughts on the more plates, more dates vid on DC? I didn't watch all of it, but yeah, it seems like DC's on some shit as well and shouldn't be the one fucking pointing fingers at Jones. Everybody's on fucking steroids. Everybody's on steroids. Thank you for the $10, Sam Carden asked. With a couple of years of hard work and dedication, I think you can definitely achieve a Jake Collier physique. I'm already in better shape than Jake Collier. Thank you for the $10. That's not even a lie either or an over-exaggeration or anything like that. Did you send Joey some hot dogs to celebrate his 5K subs? No, I didn't send him some hot dogs, no. One time, my 13-year-old wife stole... Okay, let's just move on. Fucking hell. Jesus, dude. Stop with the MMA Joey shit all the time. Thank you for the $2, Tyler 091503. Nate and Hermanson argue about PED use. Oh, I don't know, dude. Thank you for the $2. I don't know. I don't want to do impressions like that I have to really badly think about. Uh, I don't know. So where do you get your stories from? Thank you, Philadelphia, for sourcing me up to the brim with your braided roids. Hold up. Why are you snitching? Well, you hold up. Snitching on everybody. Are you okay? What's with the accents not funny? Oh, God, you got me. Oh, what is the point of even going live? I'm going to go live anyway. Stop wallowing. Even though I'm wallowing right now. Thank you for the free Australian dollars, Watty. How does Holland bounce back after the loss? How does Holland bounce back after the loss? I'm going to go with he doesn't. Ever again. No, he fights Nico Price, of course. Not a day goes by where I'm not recommending someone to fight Nico Price, and this is not a different day. This is another one of those days. Fight Nico Price, get it over with, and win. Simple as that. Why don't people just follow my ideas? What are you doing? Fight Nico Price. Easy. It's that easy, chat. I don't know why people don't understand how easy this is. Shut up. Fight Nico Price and win. Easiest thing ever. Worst meme in this community? I have no idea. The MMA Joey one's getting old. I feel bad for him. Do, 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 do. Do 
don't feel bad feed me okay did you see more plates more dates latest video i did but i didn't watch it all because my attention span is that of a retard i appreciate your ten dollars good sir sam card and oscar remember that member's stream where you ranted about how emmett till got what was coming to him no i remember ranting about how josh emmett and darren till got what was coming to them maybe it got confused thank you very much for the ten dollars uh, never happened thank you for the ten dollars though dude Forget MMA Joey, let's just get back to viciously insulting Guru and only Guru. Oh dear. Thank you for the $2, Sir Logan. Strategy for a free round MMA match with Jesse on fire. Just fucking jump in front, kick him in the face straight away. Um, thoughts on Bobby Green accusing Piotr and Fiziev of PEDs in Thailand? I think it's very interesting. I think it's probably likely, first of all, but I just think it's very interesting that Bobby Green's only case of calling someone out for PEDs so far out of the two people, one of them has been the guy that narrowly beat him in a decision that he thought he should have won. That's very strange to me, isn't it? That just seems to be a bit convenient for Bobby Green's mental state. You know what I mean? Realistic title path for MMA Joey. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't know about MMA Joey. I know this flat. Your mom's chest. Whoa. Thank you for the $5, Christopher Crane. Costa is breaking into my top three. He's brilliant. Dude, I love Paulo Costa. He's so funny. What are you doing, Costa? He had a wife and kids. Uh, head. Head. He had. Not anymore after this. Not anymore. Head. Head. Thank you for the $5, dude. He's great. Paulo Costa's a meme. My meme, I'm me. My meme, I'm me. They send me this and they tell me I'm Chad. You know? He's such a meme. It's crazy how much of a meme he is. Like, I feel like he's just been like, he's learned English through Twitter memes of MMA. That's how he's learned English. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's like, it's almost like a bad influence, but that's just, that's now his language is just to be a meme. You know what I mean? That's how he communicates. Thoughts on MMA, Joe? You live in life you could never live. Okay. Thank you very much for the two dollars, Ramsey's legal guardian. That's not my name, but thank you for the two dollars. Darren Seal cut from the UFC after losses impression. Nine out of ten times, I'm a champ, but um, this is just a one out of ten time. But I'm not a champ, and I'm out on me fucking own mate. My wife's kicked me out. I'm living on the fucking streets of Sweden, mate. Hams up won't answer his front door. Hot dog shortage equals me dead. Okay, MMA Joey, we get it with the fat jokes. Thank you. Fool me twice. Also, shame. You should never be fooled. Never be fooled. I've never been fooled. I'm Andrew Tate. Look out. What? Guys, I hope I'm stuck in between my door. Okay, MMA Joey, enough. You're <laughs> not... You're probably not. That's the problem with your words that you're saying now, MMA Joey. You're probably not stuck between your door. Thank you for the $2. I appreciate your $2. Thank you. Proper. You got to check out Costa's interview with Ariel. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude. You know what you're doing as well, you absolute fucking weeb. You weeaboo. You fucking weeaboo cunt. You fucking weeb. You weeby bastard. Two dollars, dude. Thank you for the ten dollars. I appreciate you, Sam Cardenas. I appreciate you very much indeed. I forgot to tell you that Yanni the Greek or whatever his name is, a video made me crack up. Thank you. Also, do an Andrew Tate impression again, please. Germany is a failed society. I don't know. I don't have a good impression of him. He just has a weird voice. Thank you for the ten dollars. Water. You don't know what I'm about to do. Thank you for the ten dollars, Sam Cardenas. I'm glad you enjoyed the Yanni the Greek video. Thank you for the $2 clutch hat trick. Can you give me a Bisping? El Phenomeno! <laughs> oh, what was he saying? Wait, El Phenomeno. Oh, it's over! Oh, sorry. Oh, I was trying to make shit joke. <laughs> I'm so funny. Wow, I should be a comedian. Wow. I should make people listen to my voice for a living. Because I have a really normal accent. <clears throat> Couldn't even get that out, that lie. My throat just closed up on me when I said it. Um, Diaz trying to understand his BKFC contract impression. Oh, wait. 
But sir, you just got a sign right there on the dotted line. Hold up. What the fuck is this about no gloves? Nobody. Nick, you guys heard about what the fuck is that? I want gloves. Uh, sir, this is bare knuckle fight championship, sir. Uh, you're going to have to go bare knuckle like the rest of them. Hold up. Don't be coming at me with all this irony. That's ironic. Because I'm the baddest fucker here. And I'm saying we need gloves. Thank you very much for the $2, Matthew Anderson. Your picks for this weekend were big cheeks. Eight and five ain't bad for the amount of underdogs that won. So I don't give a fuck about you. Thank you for the $2. A lot of people re-uploading your streams. Oh, I was actually thinking about that. I might fucking nuke that guy's channel. I'll be honest. I'll be honest with you. I genuinely am considering nuking that guy's channel. Now, I'm probably not going to do it, yeah. But, like, he's literally just re-uploading my stream. So I'm, I'm literally facing all the risk of getting in trouble from doing the stream. Except he's the fucking guy profiting from it. So that's... I don't mind people uploading clips and shit and little moments from my stream and doing little meme videos about my channel and all that stuff that they do. But this guy's literally just the juru or something. Like, he's literally just uploading everything. So I might just claim all the money from it and be a bitch. I'm, not, I'm probably not going to claim the money, but he needs to fucking stop uploading the fucking entire fucking stream. You know what I mean? Because there's a reason why I don't upload it. It's because I'm saying some risky shit. And I see it all on his fucking video uploaded. It's like, dude, do you not get why I'm not fucking uploading this? I don't think he makes money. He must do, though. The length of the video and the amount of views that he's got, he must get money. But I don't know. Um, it was a fake wheelchair juru. Yeah, I was Guru's OG chair. True. True. You would never do that to me, dude. I know. I know you. I know you. Me and you were like this. You know what I'm saying? I know, dude. You don't have to, you don't have to explain yourself. You know, I mean, I already knew you would never do that type of thing. You're not a snake like this other guy is. The prick. God, it boils my blood. Fuck. He loves getting there. My fucking car is going, boys. Fuck. We strong, we loyal. Mm. Rasta Guru. Thank you for the two Australian dollars. I appreciate you, Jordan Francis. See more plates, more dates. Mentioned you in his recent video about Usman. I know. I've seen it. Yes, I have a comment on that video as well. It was a while ago now, that Usman video, dude. Enough with your gross, grotesque humor. Okay, thank you very much. The way you've spelt it makes it look like you're trying to send out a message. It's time for another hot dog. Okay, MMA Joey. Can't stop fucking narrating your hot dog endeavors, please, in my chat, please. For the love of God. <sighs> would you be as comfortable as you are in your vids and streams when you're talking to O'Malley, or would you be more awkward, nervous? I guess we'll find out. I think I'll be all right, though. I'm, I'm good. But especially behind the screen. You know what I'm saying? Sean is 5'9", is Cheeto 5'6". Yes. <laughs> I doubt that, no. Cheeto's probably like 5'8". Anyway, Toodle Pip, thank you for tuning in. I'm going to go and do a members stream. Goodbye. I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully in a much better mood and with more content. Goodbye. Members, go to the community tab. See you guys. See you tomorrow. Pfft.